Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sunday Live. Uh, let me just make sure my microphone is working. Is it working? Yeah, it is working. Okay, happy Sunday. And today we are going to talk about something that's very important in my, my opinion. This is one of the absolutely um, crucial step of the, well, let me put it this way. This is a, one of the reasons why a lot of women coaches are not putting yourself out there because you're still probably thinking about exactly, you know, once I start talking to people, exactly what do I offer? So what you are about to learn in this video is how to put together your very first coaching package. And in addition to that, so I will, I will talk a little bit about the pricing and how the pricing structure works. And also what would be uh, my recommendation in terms of where do you start? So, Hey, if you are new to me, then I am Michelle Quay. I am a visibility coach and also content and email marketing strategist. And I'm also a storytelling masters. I do a lot of branding, storytelling, and content marketing on this, in this, inside this group. So if you are new to the group, welcome, welcome to our group. This is a very loving and engaging community. So be sure to participate, uh, show up. Um, you know, I think this is one of the big things that I always encourage uh, women coaches to do is you want to show up. Um, otherwise, it's kind of feel like a booty call, right? If, if you have something to promote and then you show up and that just doesn't feel that doesn't feel authentic. And, and authenticity is one of the our big value here in this community. So if you are new, be sure to drop into the comment. Let us know where you're watching this from. If this is the first time you're inside the group, also say hello to everyone. We love you. We love to hear more about about you. Now, whether you are starting out as a new coach or perhaps you've been selling your service for quite some time, but you know, you haven't yet to put together a package. And so, you know, maybe you are in a uh, spiritual and wellness coaching uh, industry where you don't feel that you are able to put it into a package so that you can charge your audience, which I totally understand because when I first came out, you know, I didn't feel comfortable about charging, charging my audience. So I started pretty low. And I'm going to show you exactly and share with you how exactly I put together my package and how did that evolve over the years. Now it becomes a package that people can purchase and buy and sign up. Um, so it took a lot of refinements and going through the process of knowing like, okay, so what do I love to do and what do I not love to do? So first step in understanding how you package your coaching coach, your first coaching package together, I actually want you to think about your own lifestyle. Are you someone who is who still has a nine to five job, right? You're still trying to make the meet the uh, needs or or paying your rent in addition to building a coaching business. If that is you, then chances are you don't have a lot of time or your schedule doesn't permit you to do a whole lot of one on one coaching, right? Um, and if you're someone who likes to travel, chances are you probably also don't want to sit down in a meeting and, and do an in-person coaching. So I actually want you to think about, before you consider anything else, I want you to think about your own lifestyle. What do you dream of that full-time coaching business will look like? Do you like to travel? Do you have more time? Do you want to carve out more one-on-one -on -one space? Or do you want to, do you actually enjoy having a group Put together? Do you enjoy community community setting? Do you want to do in person? You know that that's very important for you to um, start right off the bat to decide um, whether or not this is something that will fit into your lifestyle. So I'll tell you a little bit about where I started. So when I first started, got out of uh, iPad coaching, um, I started out with the night night session package, that magical night session that we all heard of do, do going through iPad. Now, where does that night session come from? So night session, if you think about it, it's one week session every single week, and that would take you about two and a half uh, uh, month, right? Two and a half month. Um, and typically, when you design your first package, what you want to do is you want to come up with an, just anything 
right? Any arbitrary number, and I would go with like maybe 90 days. So, so 90 days is a good number. And, and there are studies that shows in order to build a habit, you need to have at least 28 days, right? 28 days to actually build a habit. And then you probably need another 28 days to actually to implement all the new habit that you have developed and that you have carried and that you're ready to take action. So if you think about the whole nine sessions uh, strategy, that we learned from IPEC, the quick start program, then you realize that there's a there's a there's a um, there's reasoning behind this madness of night. You you establish, you help your client to establish a habit and you take them into an action mode, which take about two and a half or three months time. And so there are systems that's out there that talk about uh, when you design your first program. Make it a three months, right? Make it a three months so that you are setting your goal in the first month. The second month would be establishing your new habit. And then your third month would be your implementation or action time, right? So where you take your client by inviting them to come up, come in and set some goals. Then we're going to talk about how we're going to uh, make the change. How we do we bring it into our life? And then finally, you show them how to implement them. So that's where that magical nine sessions and sometimes, you know, 90 days uh, or three months program. That's where that came from. Now, if you're someone who's like stuck and you know you have no idea and you don't know where to begin to put a package together and you don't know what to what to put into this package, right off the bat, I would say just take care of that because you don't want that to be your hurdle that you continue to hold you back. Okay, so just put something together, call it a nine 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 session package, call it a three months package, however you want to do it. Don't let that to be your um your your stop your stop you're like your roadblock okay so now that we got the structure of three months or 90 days or nine session you you pick again you wanted to look at your lifestyle which one fits better in your lifestyle and that's the one that you're going to go to all right let's say hypothetically you started with the nine session how much do you charge now, this is always a tricky, tricky part. And also, um, it's not so transparent information, right? When you Google a lot of uh, these coaches' website, not necessarily everyone would put their pricing on their website. Now, those of us who, you know, I, I, I honestly have no, no problem showing and telling you how much I charge. And the reason why I do that is I love, I love to be transparent about how much I'm charging so that by the time you visit the website or you see what is involved and you can assess for yourself whether or not this is the investment that you want to put yourself through it right so if I were to like disclose it and I'm, I'm not going to share my pricing with you then you know for someone who's coming to the website they have to actually book a call or send in the application and then when they jump on the call and it turns out oh you know what I don't have the budget to do it and so you just waste it yourself you know that extra 30 minutes and if you're if you're someone who's like really delivering value in the in the in the early early coaching uh experience then you might even use that discovery session for 60 minutes so if you think about all these discovery call or all these application that you have to process and go through and that's one hour of time and personally again my lifestyle it doesn't fit me very well so i rather to be intentional to be transparent so that when i book a call when i signed up with someone that person already has an idea of how much i'm going to charge what would be my pricing structure look like and if they're happy if they need a payment plan we're happy to talk about it on the call so there is very clear expectation you set up the the structure your your discovery call call structure in such a way that only those who are committed would be jumping on the call with you. Now, that is for someone who who gets you a little choosy, right? When you have when you have clear clear uh, idea of what is it exactly the, the 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 deliverable the promise that you're going to deliver, then you can be choosy about who you want to work with. Initially, okay, I would just Put yourself out there and share your calendar and do not limit yourself to any particular particular uh, by, by any particular logistics. 
Okay, make it easy for your people to book a call with you to to wanted to have that discovery call. And the reason why I said that, I, I I know I'm totally contradicting myself what I said earlier, right? I don't want everybody to jump onto the discovery call. But for someone who's fresh and new, and you don't know or you're not quite sure what that coaching package looks like, what what I want you to do is actually go through that process so you have a better understanding of you know. Oh, Michelle, I don't like this this style of coaching. Oh, I don't like that 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 client population. When you sit through those coaching sessions, you're going to get so much of feedbacks that you get to decide. Okay, I don't like working with this this particular type of clientele. Oh, I really enjoy、uh, working with women. I really enjoy working with college kids. I really enjoy working with nonprofit. You need that information, and in order to get to that information, we can't just limit yourself to. Oh, I, I, I wanted to make it extra hard, and people would have to apply in order to come and see me, right? Um, so, so when you're early on, think about your where where you are on that coaching journey. Okay, if you're a little in the middle, in the middle, you can probably be choosy a little bit, right? If you have referral coming through, then you can be choosy a little bit. But as you're in the early stage of your coaching business, I would highly recommend make it as easy as possible for someone to contact you, and. And the reason that we do that is so that you can design your signature package because you get a chance, you got a chance to work with all these different、um, type of clientele, and you know exactly, you know,、uh, you'll see, you'll start to see a pattern of what that looks like. Okay, so let's say you started to to work with everybody, and you you have a nice session or three months. Let's just go for the for the sake of argument today. We're going to go with a ninety day package, okay, a three months package. You go with a three months package, and how do you know like what goes into each month? So. I want you to sit down and just map it out. Maybe this weekend, okay? That today is Sunday, so map out what what is it? What is the first step that someone would have to take in order for that person to go from a zero to one hundred? Okay, what is that very first step that you had to take? Maybe it was just、uh, taking a workshop. Maybe you sign up. So one of my clients actually had、uh, her her first step was she attended、uh, Jay Shetty's workshop, and that was her first step. It was a workshop she attended. That's that's just scratch the name for a minute, right? Just half the concept. So she attended the workshop, and that prompted her to realize that oh. You know what I'm experiencing is actually something deeper than that. So let me explore more. So for your clients, they're also going through some type of journey, right? They're going through a journey and they come across something. Maybe it's a workshop that you offer. Maybe it's a, a webinar that you offer. Maybe it's a PDF that you put out there, and that would be their first step. So what is that first step? And if you were to break it down even further, maybe it's awareness that you came up with. Okay, so your first month is all about awareness. That's your first step, right? And then you think about the next step. Next step would be where do I need to go in order to reach to my, you know, quote unquote full full potential or have confidence or live abundantly. What do I? How do I? What what would be my my next step? So you start to map out step one, step two, step three in order for someone to walk into your space and you take them from zero to one hundred. So everybody starts at zero. Okay, and your job as a coach is to help them to go from zero to one hundred. And when you do that, it becomes a you want to call it a framework, a roadmap, a system, a blueprint, strategy, whatever it is. It's a tool that you help people going from zero to one hundred. So there's a lot of、uh, people use this type of use this type of、uh, strategy to design their course, to design their program, right? So Marie Folio has the B School.、Uh, Amy Porterfield has the G- Digital Academy.、Uh, Russell Brunson has the Click Funnel, and then Dean Gr-、uh, Dean Graziosi has the Accelerated Success Formula. And And, and that's how we all came up with our course curriculum, our program, 
and a coaching coaching package. Okay, you take someone from zero to one hundred, and how many steps do I need to take? And you might say, well, Michelle, that's great, but、um, you know, coaching is so much more. I don't, I don't know, you know,、uh, the person I'm working with, what they're looking to accomplish. So I want you to look at the outcome, the outcome of what you essentially have accomplished in your life so far, and perhaps your program has to do with that outcome. So you always want to start with an outcome that you're going to help people to accomplish, and that's say, I want to help. Everybody feel more confident. So confidence, having more confidence, would be my outcome. And then I work backwards, right? So if I were to look at confidence, how do I build up confidence? What is my first step? My first step is to become aware. So my first month would be something like we're going to journal for the first week, so that we can identify what are some of the areas that we've been judging, right? We have been holding a lot of judgment. And then my second week would be something around the awareness again, right? So that design, that that whole first month would just be focusing on creating that awareness around the judgments that we have. So again, I. I started with the outcome, and I map out all the steps that someone needs to take from zero to one hundred. All right. So once you know how many how many steps someone will need to take in order to accomplish to where they want to be, then technically you have a program, right? So so. Uh, month one, it, we will work on the、uh, awareness. Month two, we will work on the、uh, acceptance. I don't know. I'm just making 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 stuff up.、Um, step three would be we're going to implement this, and how do we how do we go to the action step? So now you have a three month program, and again. You can come up with a with a with the arbitrary any numbers, right? But typically, it's two and a half to three months program, so that you can get someone to have that awareness, take some action, or make some changes, and then put them into action steps. So ninety days would be a good starting point to start. Okay, let's talk about pricing. Pricing pricing varies. Um, from from one industry to another industry. Okay,、um, you want to you can do a Google search and and look around in your area and to see what the average pricing would be. You can do a very general Google search, but that data is not a hundred percent accurate.、Um, I will look at. So when people people come up with the charging, they're thinking about like how many stuff I can shuffle into my package. Oh, you're gonna get like sixty sixty minute minutes a one on one program with me, and every week we're going to we're going to meet, and and then I'm going to add unlimited、uh, email and text, and I'm also going to add in、uh, extra bonuses, including、uh, this workshop, free offer to to my to my retreat, my event. When you take someone to to look at,、um, hey, focus on the stuff I'm putting into my package. You're essentially taking them away from that from that emotional、um, feeling of what coaching can really do for me. And when you sell a package, you're selling them the transformation. It's not the stuff that you stuff into your package, right? So when you When you talk about your package, I want you to focus on the transformation, the outcome, the result that you'll be able to deliver when someone invests. I don't know, two thousand dollar with you. Someone who invests two thousand dollar with you. Where can you take them that they that would allow them to maybe make a hundred times more than that, maybe ten times more than that? Now, if if that's what you're able to deliver and do. Then I'm not going to, as an investor, as a client, I'm not going to focus on. Oh wait,、um, if I were to pay that two thousand dollar, this is X amount of session I'm going to get. This is how much I'm. No, what I care about is what can you do for me that would change my life, that would make my life easier, right? And then we can talk about the logistic of how to break down that pricing. So. Usually three months when I first started、uh, the night session package, I started out at eighteen hundred dollars, 
It was eighteen hundred dollars. That's a good starting price. I know a lot of my peer charge a lot less than that, and their reasoning is that I am new. I just barely got my certification, and I don't have a lot of experiences. So their pricing were cut by half. Okay, compared to where I started, I believe in my value. And when you put down your pricing, I also want you to think about. The um something that's not you can't measure by dollar sign, right? The time that you put in to create this program, the time that you spend having to do all these research, and the time that you have spent to actually enhance and advance yourself, and taking yourself through a uh, a, a personal development journey of signing to a certification program, right? All that is not something that you can put a dollar sign next to it. So when you are charging, think about all these non-tangible values that you have brought into your experience. And if you're someone who has like corporate background or healthcare background, or you you have something else that you bring in that transferable skills that you bring in into coaching and working with your client, that in itself you need to you need to be able to to to、uh, have that return of investment. And eighteen hundred dollars to two thousand dollars for three month session that's not that's not a lot, okay. So I want you to think about. I know that pricing is something that a lot of people are hesitate to talk about, and people you probably don't have this type of information that you'll find anywhere else. So I'm just I just want to you to think about if you're looking to create a full time coaching business, you're also not going to have insurance、uh, coverage, right? So the insurance is going to be out of pocket. Uh, there's a lot of、uh, subscription. You need to subscribe to email campaign. You need to subscribe to your website. You need to subscribe to the calendar. So all these little tiny subscription fee they do add up. And so when you're charging, right, you also need to consider your other business、uh, business expenses that you you need to have in order to have this business. And and when clients see the value of working with you, it's You know, it's so, it's so easy. And I have clients who come back and they say, Michelle, you need to charge more. And so I want you to, you know, just put it out there as you're thinking about pricing, whatever that price that you're looking at. Ask yourself, is this? Does it feels good to me? Does it feels right to me? Am I getting the the return that I deserve? Okay. I I know a lot of us in in this group has big heart, and you are here to help to service. But I also want you to take a take a look at yourself. You have accomplished so much. Is that price that you're looking at? Are you feeling that you're getting what you need? Are you feeling that you are getting what you deserve? And if not, okay, we need to talk. <laughs> Okay, we need to talk.、Um, so six steps. I wanted to wrap this up, and I'm going to give you six steps in creating your first coaching package. Number one is that you want to focus and start out with your end result. What is that outcome? What is that promise? What is that transformation that you're going to be able to provide to your clients? In your coaching business, right? It could be confidence that we talked about. It could be living abundance, living in joy, living in happiness. What is that outcome that someone is going to receive by working with you? And then you go down to the to the second step, which is break it down into topic or theme.、Uh, sometimes I like to call it the stories. Right? Is your story that a representation of courage, confidence, self doubt? Judgment or fear. So break it down into topics. Topics that you can talk about. Topics that you can create、uh, mini courses around the big concept, right? And again, you want to take your client from zero to to a hundred. So what is your story?、Uh, take take that piece out. Then the third step is you want to organize these into step by step formulas. Okay, so if I'm working with someone who's、uh, to to get them feel more courageous, what would be my first step in order to feel more courageous? Step one, step two, step three. So a step by step、uh, roadmap that you can take someone on. 
Action step would be number four. You want to create some type of action action plan or implementation. So maybe first month, we're going to work on awareness. Second month, we're going to implement, incorporate in some of our uh, change our daily habits. And then third month, we'll be taking these action steps, right? So what does that action step look like? Maybe that person would need to go and meditate for five minutes every day, right? That would be an action that person needs to take. So what are some of the action steps that person needs to take? Number five would be to share your story. You want to tell people about why you're so passionate about courage. What, what are some of the social proof that you have, right? Maybe you have gone through some type of experience that really um, speaks to the fact that, you know, what I'm showing you is exactly how it has got me here. And I am my social proof. Right. So you want to be able to tell your story, tell some example. Maybe it's your case study. Maybe you have worked with peer coaches and and there is some transformation they will be able to provide. Use their testimonials and use their stories as an example to create that social proof. And then the number six is you can have uh, bonuses for people, for your people. Right. You can create some PDF, PDF, like maybe a checklist, checklist that you can go through. Someone can go through uh, even without working with you one on one. Uh, sometimes, you know, when when let's say you're not meeting with that client, you can provide some type of homework uh, so that person can can continue to work on. Or maybe you're offering some extra support, recorded videos or things like that as bonus in your package. So the six steps in creating your first coaching package, start with the end result, di divide them into main concept or topic. And number three is to uh, create a step-by-step -step format, right? A roadmap. And then number four is to create some action steps on how someone can take to actually get there that they can implement. Uh, number five is to share your story, share your case study, share how someone else was able to use the same method and got the social proof. And then uh, step number six is to add in the bonus. Maybe uh, you get you do uh, in between session for thirty minutes, or you know SOS session for for fifteen minutes. I don't know. You, you come up with that bonus. But when you're thinking about putting your package together, think about your own lifestyle. Maybe the course works better for you. Maybe workshop works better for you. Maybe one-on-one -on -one coaching or maybe group coaching works better for you. Um, find out, ask yourself, what do I like? And when you start, I would recommend like a three months package or 90 days, right? 90 days would, about, would be about 12 weeks. Right, 12 weeks that would get someone to from zero to maybe 80%. And then you can take them further to 100%. And during the call, it would be like 45 minutes to 60 minutes call uh, on a weekly basis. And in terms of the pricing to pay in full, you can start with 1800. That's where I started. That would just give you an, an idea. Um, you can start with 1800 and you definitely want to offer some type of payment plan, right? So when I first started, I offer a payment plan. I still offer a payment plan. Even, even now that I have a, my prices higher, I still offer a payment plan because payment plan is something that if, if I were to look at all the courses that I take, I don't have, you know, $10,000 to put it out from my bank. And when I look at the courses I'm, I'm investing in, I'm okay to pay someone, you know, maybe $1,000 or $500 a month. And that will allow me to create the change. And when I start seeing that change, I can do more. I can earn more. And that money is going to come back to reinvest in my business, right? So, so think about how, where your clients are at. Maybe, you know, that financial struggle is something that's real, that's going to impact their life. Then I want you to actually offer them and a payment plan, right? There's nothing wrong with offering a payment plan so that you can create that change. And one of the one of the things I always tell, tell um, people who reach out to me and they need a payment plan is that I want you to actually go out there and start making money so I can get paid, right? <laughs> so the more that you are being able to go out there and start getting client, the sooner I'm going to get paid. And, and that's a good thing. That's a win-win, right? Not only do I get you the result, but I also get paid from giving you the result. So same 
principle, same concept. When you're working with your one-on-one -on -one and you notice that someone has financial uh, situation that really needs your help and who really are interested in working with you, then I want you to give them some options here. And when you do the payment plan, typically you want to you want to probably charge 10 to 20 percent uh, from your paying full. What do I mean by that? So if you're charging someone eighteen hundred dollars, you're going to uh, add in right the the um, risk. Right. If I'm doing a payment plan, there's a risk behind behind uh, the fact that I'm giving you a payment plan. You could disappear in one month. You could you could just you know, not show up in the session. So, so in order to do the payment plan, typically you're going to see a 10 to 20% of increase if someone were to pay in full. And I also, that also gives someone the incentive of paying full. So just wanted to share that with you. This is something that you're going to see very commonly people use to, to uh, when they offer the payment plan, there's a 10 to 20% increase on the, on the pricing compared to the pay in full. Um, why we do that? Because there's risk, right? Um, if I were to offer a payment plan to someone and they, they decided, you know what, they're going to flake, then they disappear. And it's a risk on the business owner, the business aspects of, of what you do. So that's where that 10% comes from. So I hope this helped to give you an idea and, and what to put together and how much to charge, as well as how do you design your program together. You start with the outcome, break it down into theme. And once you have the theme, you want to create some step-by-step -step action step. And you want to create some action around the step that people can take. And then finally, you want to be able to tell them, right? Why are you so passionate about coaching? Tell people about it. And why are you so passionate about helping people um, finding more confidence or feeling more confident? Tell that. And then you can consider adding the bonus. The bonus will be like PDF workbook, uh, extra support, something like that, that would help tremendously. Okay. So I hope this helps you to think about your package. And if you need more support, you know where to find me. I'm always inside the group. So hopefully you don't let this to be um, the reason why you are not out there and doing your offer. Okay. This would give you an idea of what to offer. And when you talk to people, it will make it easier. All right. I will see you in my next Go Live uh, next Sunday at 10 o'clock Pacific time. I'll see you then.